hi it's Jess welcome to my channel and I realize that the end of the year is approaching because I see people doing this tag I haven't done a big book tag in a while um, I've kind of just haven't done book tags in a while what can I say I think now is the time to reflect about the end of the year so far I've read what like 52 books my reading goal was 50. Um, honestly, I don't really care as long as I'm just reading every day and hopefully all the books are good that I like. But you know, that's not reality. Some books had to DNF. Some books didn't turn out as I expected. Um, and then I found some gems. I mean, isn't that everyone's reading year? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I assume anyway. So let's get into the questions. Are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? No, this year has actually been very different in that I've been reading one book at a time. Usually I was reading two and splitting my time between the two. And so it did lengthen uh, my reading experience but now I'm really enjoying just delving into one world one at a time you know just like I'm living in this one book right now I just started reading legends and lattes so uh, I think I'll be able to finish this by the end of the year because <laughs> it's September when I am filming this okay uh, do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year uh, not really, but I think the thing I notice the most is that I tend to read Stephen King around September. <laughs> like, I just finished reading Salem's Lot. Um, although I do have a goal of reading at least six Stephen King books a year, like, w like one for every two months, and so it was about that time. But, I mean, it is kind of fun, though. It's a fun tradition and I guess that kind of happened around uh, my 24 hour readathon that happened in 2020 where I just read uh, like three short Stephen King books. I read Carrie, uh, The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon, and then I forgot. <laughs> and then I gave up. Um, but that was still fun. So I guess I kind of associate that with uh, the transition into fall. Is there a new release you're still waiting for? No. I mean, I think there might be something out there, like some authors I want to read from that have new books coming out, but I, I, I don't really keep track. What are three books you want to read before the end of the year? Now, I happen to have a little TBR pile, and they're all big books, so I don't know if I'll get to all these, because I don't think I'll want to read longer books one after the other, but... Um, I still need to continue Mistborn, so I think this is the second book, The Well of Ascension. Uh, it'd be great if I could get to the third one as well. I think to round out the year, I want to read Four Past Midnight by Stephen King. One of my favorite movies is Secret Window, so I really want to read that short story, and then there's some other ones in here that of course I'll read. Uh, the Labyrinth of Spirits by Carlos Ruiz Zafone. Um, this is, I think, the last book in the Cemetery of Forgotten Books, and, uh, I've been meaning to get to this. Uh, it's, it's, it's a chunker, though. <laughs> but I really love this series. Is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? Who knows? I mean, last year I read Mexican Gothic right before the end of the year, and that one shocked me and became one of my favorites. So I don't know, I don't really know what I'm going to be reading in the next couple months other than some hopefuls, but otherwise I don't really know because I'm a mood reader. Have you already started making reading plans for 2024? Nah, I'm just taking it one book at a time. I'm enjoying, uh, you know, I try to re read at least an hour a day and then I read some more if I have time. I don't really have any specific goals other than that and just to mood read, pick my TBR as if I'm gonna die soon. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think things have been going well for me. <laughs> um, I really want to compare my stats because of how I am reading nowadays. I wonder if it's making my reading experience more enjoyable than it 
than it was like a couple years ago when I started this channel because um, yeah sometimes I kind of force myself to read books because I want to like get rid of the book <laughs> and now I'm just really like I don't care about that anymore I'm just choosing books that I want to read like oh what if I, I mean this is morbid but I'm like what if I die like soon within a week and there were like books I really wanted to read but I read something else that wasn't as interesting you know that that would be kind of disappointing and there's an and you know there's a finite time and sorry I don't mean to be morbid but I feel like it's a great way to choose which book to read next <laughs> so how has your reading year went so far and what are your goals and plans for the rest of the year I'd like to know and I will see you later because I can see you bye